Hello, you are welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will explain the concept event booking system. Event booking system is to book the event. This was a particular college where student can book the events. So here there are three menus, basically one for the admin, one for the coordinator and one for the student. So what coordinator does? So coordinator can create the event. Student can log in and check out the events and they can book for the event. So here is the admin login, coordinator login and student can sign up and they can log in and then they can view the events and they can book the events. So it's a network based application. So therefore in a lab in all the system we can run this project. So therefore student can sign up and they can view the event and they can book the events. This project can be implemented by using any one of these languages. We can do it in vb.net. So we can do it in .net, cshop.net. We can do it in Java. We can do it in Android. You can make it as an Android app. Okay. So apart from this, you can also make online project. So it may be in PHP or Python or ASP.NET or JSP, all possible. But this we're focusing on VB.NET. So that is what we're going to explain in this video. This project is basically for all computers and students who are doing a course in any of these courses. So you're supposed to do a project in a particular semester or in a final semester. In that case, you require a concept, you require one project idea. So the event booking system is a one such an idea. Using this idea, you can build up the project and you can manage that. This video will help you to gain language skills. That is VB.NET because we are using VB.NET. You will understand what is VB.NET, what are things are there, how do we make a project in VB.NET. So what is your front end? What is back end? Where, what are the forms? How do we log in? So a lot of things you'll understand. Therefore, you are improving your language skills. That is a VB.NET. Domain skills, we talk about the event booking. So you need to understand what is this project is, how this project works, event uh, booking project, what are the things will be covered in this, and what are the reports we are generating, how the whole process works. So all the domain skills that you'll understand. Work experience, if you complete this project your own, you'll get a, you'll gain the experience. So therefore that will count for your job. So therefore easily you can get the job. Therefore after watching this video, you can try to do this project your own. Software requirement. So these are the requirement for this particular project. Project forms. So these are the forms we are using in this particular project. So we have around uh, 15 forms here. So the first one is a, a flash screen. This is the first form we'll run on the project. So where it will have the picture. So show that what project it is. Then the login form, login form to login. So here there are three logins. One is admin login, one coordinator login, and one is the student login. Right, login option form to select the option like who has to log in. Then MDA parent, this is the MDA form. So which consists the menu. Via menu, you can navigate the rest of the forms. So this is a module, module to uh, declare global variable function and procedures. And this is the student form, student list, student login, student part. I'll explain you once again in the next slide. Database tables, uh, backend as a, you are using Microsoft SQL Server, SQL Server is a backend. And these are the tables, so we have around 10 tables here. For a mini project around 10 tables will do the job. So here it again, so here you can see that uh, three menu, event list, book, event, booking list, exit. This for the student, event details, event list, student list, booking list, exit. This for the uh, coordinator, coordinator, coordinate list, uh, student list, this for the admin. So admin can create the coordinator. Coordinator can create the events. Once the events are created, events can be booked by the student. So this is the main concept, right? So here the options are there, who has to log in, admin login, coordinator login and the student login. So all the three can work independently. Fine. So therefore, this is the project which will be useful for the college. 
So in a college lab systems are there. So therefore we can install this software in all the systems. So student can log in via their system. They can check out the events. What are the events are occurring in the college? So these are the events. If they are interested in the particular event, let's say even they are interested, they can book that particular event. They can book the event. So admin and coordinator comes to know overall booking for the that particular event. This is the main concept of this particular project. For more details, please log into our website iblix.com and you can also communicate with us via mail or WhatsApp. Now I'll show the project in Visual Studio. Fine. So here is a Visual Studio and uh, here are the forms actually the which, which we are using in this particular project. So here you can see event data.mdf. These are the tables. Right. So now what you can do is so we can run the project here. Now you can see admin login, coordinate login, student login, all the three are there. Okay. First I go to admin login. Let us log in as admin, then admin. Uh, click OK. So what admin can do is he can create the coordinator. So we already created one card the C001 and there are all the details are there. Likewise, you can create as many coordinators as you want. So here's the coordinator list. The list will come. You can take the printout of it. And here's a student list. Overall registered, that list will come here. Even you can take the printout of this. And here is the event list. What are the events registered by the coordinator? That list will come here. So we can take the printout. Next is the booking list. Any booking is done, that list will come here. So this is about admin. Now coordinator is to login. Now what we'll do is so instead of running from again, close and open and again, we go back to the this particular folder. This is the project folder bin folder, debug folder. Here you can see there is an exe file. Okay. So if you double click the exe file, again the project will run. Now I can log in as a coordinator. So C101 is the coordinator ID and the corresponding password. So now you can see the event details. Now the coordinator can book the events. Okay. I just made one. So instead of creating, you want to create one more, you have to click new button and then you have to save it. Likewise, we can create the events here. And here is the event list. So you can create the event list and student list overall book the ticket. So therefore you can able to see them. So next is the booking list. So this shows the booking list. Now student want to log in. So can, again, we can run the exe file here. So you can go to student sign up. Let the student can sign up. Let's say register number is 102 and what password I want. They can enter the password here. Okay. We're supposed to make it as a password character star there. So we're not yet done. Um, so let's say Kiran, then address. So complete the address and then mobile number, uh, email ID. Okay. Let's make it half of that. So this is B student and semester is uh, third semester. So it'll say that uh, is the validation is there. So it'll check the mobile number. So it's understand mobile number is not correct. So therefore it's telling, please enter 10 digit mobile number. So it should be a 10 digit mobile number. So please enter the valid email ID. So you can see that uh, valid email ID is not complete. So therefore you need to write the correct email ID. So then sign up. Okay, so it's create the duplicate key. Sign up, uh, the sign up is successful. Okay, now student can log in. So you can go to student login. So here is 1002, uh, then ABCD is the password. Um, what else? Right, so now here is the event list. So you can see the list, what are the events are there. Now is the event book. You want to book the event, you need to select the event. And you can see the price here. So this is the price. So quantity one quantity and then save. So you book the event. So booking list, it will show the booking list here. So same way now the admin can also can able to view it. So you can see that one more person booked. So again booking list is admin. So even admin can able to view it. 
therefore when the student uh, book the event all the people coordinator admin can able to view this so this project will be helpful for the college if they are conducting some events regularly so they can complete this project and um, they can use it to book the events so uh, you understand the concept and now you can able to write this project in the language you wish try it out so definitely you can able to successful it may take little time so because in the beginning it take it's little difficult but concentrate and start doing again and again you will be succeeded so if you go to module you can see that uh, we declare some functions here sorry variables and the first one here is the uh, connection string this connection string is important to connect to the database we can obtain the connection string uh, from the server explorer select the event data and if you go to properties there is a connection string property here so we need to copy the complete connection string and then you have to paste it over here then we have a functions here there is a check num function to check whether you enter the character or the number so this will be useful in case of mobile number where you need to enter only mobile uh, numbers not the characters so you can see that uh, here is a student form so here we done the validations okay so the for email id so if you go to sign up you can choose, uh, check here we are using the rejects to check for the validation of email id and if mobile length is not is equal to 10 then we check we say that uh, mobile number is not complete so for you need to check it again and uh, this code is to check whether this particular register number is already registered or not if it's already registered it tell that it's already registered so therefore you can't register with the same register number if not then that will be inserted into the table so once it is inserted then you can able to get into the um project or software then you can able to book the events right so this is the main idea uh, of this particular project hope you got an idea right so therefore try it out and if you not yet subscribed to our channel please uh, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching